Would you look who it is? Johnny Key, welcome back to the vlog. Yes. How are you doing? I'm great. We just got to the hotel. I'm here with Johnny Key. I feel great. I'm a little scared about what's going to happen at night, but I feel good. He needs me. Let's go, Luke! Come on! Luke Talbot. What a race. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Blonde Boy Run. Are you smoking? Oh, you're eating something. I was like, whoa, Johnny Key. Um, we are your hosts for the Blonde Boys Run. Obviously, you guys know who it is. It's uh, Luke Talbot, Johnny Key. Back yes, for another absolute beautiful banger of an episode. We got a lot to discuss. A lot's happened. We haven't actually been able to talk since, what, Thanksgiving? Like the Last week. Saturday or Sunday, yeah. Because Johnny Key's been busy, busy boy. Um, Bro, final, finals be be touching me, dude. It's been tough. That is, pause. That's insane. What are you going home? Are you going home today, tomorrow? Saturday. I'll go home okay. Saturday. I, I should have been smart. And I should have just put my work availability like in as like unavailable. Because mm -hmm. there was like no reason for me to like come back from school. No practice. No in-person finals. All I have is work. So it's just yeah. like, but oh well. It is you what know, it is. Nothing you can do about it now. That is true. Uh, well, a lot's been going down in the NCAA world as well. Not only is uh, college getting out for the winter, but we also had the final race for the distance people, if you will. Uh, we had the BU opener, whatever it was, end up called, uh, with some pretty big races. We had, obviously, Ethan Strand taking the NCAA record in a 730 uh, in the 3K with Parker Wolf just literally a less than half a second behind him. They were basically crossed the line almost at the exact same time. Ethan just a little bit in front of him, uh, both going under the previous record. I believe there was four people in total to go under the uh, previous NCAA record, if that's correct. Do you yeah. know for sure? So uh, Ethan in first, Parker in second, then it was Yasin, I believe, in third, and Gary Martin in Your fourth. Your boy, Gary. Absolutely, Gary Martin, the the freaking legend. The legend. Um, I mean, that's a strong four right there, too, obviously. Uh, all going under the previous record. I, I posted on the Instagram story, I said, uh, the question was never if the record would get broken, but who would break it? Um, and I think that was uh, Ethan Strand right there. I mean, we obviously <laughs> saw him take the win right there over Parker Wolf, which obviously both are incredible talents and yeah. you know, it's gonna be a it's gonna be an amazing track season to watch the NCAA. Well, it could have been uh, just a little bit more amazing. Better. It could have been even better. But what happened right after that? Do you want to talk about it? Well after Grand Blinks went sub thirteen, he went like twelve fifty nine, right? Twelve fifty nine, fifty eight, right around there, yeah. Cause I know he was <laughs> two, number two all time now, right behind Nico, I believe. Uh, only, I think they're the only two people to go under 13 NCAA wise. I think you're probably right. After that, he uh, he dipped, bro. He dipped out on the NCAA, signed a pro contract with New Balance, um, which is getting pretty stacked. I mean, they got two of college's biggest stars. You got Parker Volvi, and now you got Graham Blanks, with the, which is absolutely huge. Slightly depressing, though. Um, I wish I could have seen a Graham Blanks track season. I would agree, and I do understand where he's coming from. I did listen to a podcast or two with him talking about it, and I do think that a big reason for this is because it's just a, a time thing. He wants to be ready for world champs in the summer slash start of the fall, and you know it takes a lot to uh, do what he's done. So I, I do think that uh, he is become second NCAA runner to go sub 13. So yeah, it's just him and Nico at the moment, by the way. I just wanted to make that, make sure I said that correctly before we move on. But uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, it, it's a lot. Being in college, as we both know, being a student athlete is not an easy thing whatsoever. Uh, classes on top of finishing out his last semester as a student, because he is still a student at Harvard. He's not done. Uh, he's just not, he's not just pro and that's it. He's still a student finishing out his degree and I believe he's like economy and philosophy, which is like a crazy yeah. economics and philosophy or something like that, which is, yeah, it's a crazy dual threat. But uh, I mean, he's doing his thing. He's obviously at Harvard of all places. So 
Um, it does suck. Uh, I'd love to see him compete with the best of the best in the NCAA, but we get to see him compete with the best of the best in the pro fields. So that'll be super exciting. And to touch on what you're saying with New Balance, they do have a pretty stacked lineup on the women's side, especially. They've been dominating the uh, women's 1500 for a while now. However, name one guy that runs with New Balance. Graham Blanks. And that is pretty much all I know as well. Uh, uh, not to throw any shade oh, at New Balance, but I just I think they need to slowly start working on their guy side because I feel like they've established a middle distance women's team in a sense, uh, especially adding Parker Valby onto the team now. You're going to have some more representation in the uh, distance events, and you already have, what, Sydney McLaughlin for the hurdles, so it's like yeah. you have some pretty big names. Uh, I just think that... And Jack Harlow. Is he part of New Balance? <laughs> All right. Shout out Jack Harlow. They're I doing mean, decent on, and they have Shohei for baseball. Okay, I know they uh, got some basketball players. Don't, don't know who. Yeah. But. Um. I mean, not like huge names. They have like Jamal Murray, but um, they don't have like anything huge. But you know, they they do have some dogs on their lineup, just not in distance running. You know what I mean? And I think that's like the big thing for Graham is like he's obviously choosing to stay with uh, Coach Gibby at Harvard for this uh, fall. And I believe that the intent is to start training with that group uh, with Parker Valby and the uh, uh, rest of the what it's like El St. Pierre, Emma Mackey and uh, a couple other girls that I mean, I might have those two might not. I'm pretty sure those two are correct, but like those two might not even be correct. Who knows? Um <laughs> I don't know my New Balance team nearly as well as I know like the OAC team, if I'm being quite honest with you. So, um, yeah, I mean, I definitely, like I said, I think they have a good depth in the uh, girl side. They definitely need to work on a guy side, in my opinion, because, like I said, Graham is the only one I know, and I know there are other guys with New Balance. They're just not, they don't have a big name or anything. Like, I, I don't know. And when you think back to the people that are winning uh, NCAAs, you look at Kai Robinson, Nico Young, Graham Blanks, obviously, uh, Parker Wolf. Like you look at all these people, and they're all kind of split off of New Balance on Nike, but New Balance it, Grant, is only Graham. So it's like I don't yeah. know, I don't know where the rest of them are going at the moment. And obviously, uh, Nico Young's with Adidas, so there's that, but. Yeah, it's just it's just tough for New Balance at the moment because they're obviously trying their best, and you know, being in Boston probably helped get Graham uh, yeah. with them. <laughs> I mean, Slow imagine up. imagine if Graham was at say Stanford, would he have decided to choose New Balance in that pos- pos- situation? We don't. We don't know. We don't know. The truth is, we don't know. And uh, I mean, yeah, it's. <laughs> This guy's slow mo eating is what even is that thing? That's a taquito. A taquito? They got recalled a few meat? months ago. Chicken. Chicken and cheese. They got recalled a few months ago, but they're back on the Costco shelves. So I had to scoop them up. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, that's really all I wanted to yap about when it comes to grambling. So anything yeah. that you wanted to specifically touch on? No, I mean, it's like slightly depressing because i like you know not to sound bad or anything but i like seeing uh like american dudes win the you know ncaa events um and losing graham kind of sucks for track but you know you have but you have parker and parker obviously beat graham at the u.s olympic trials and i think that's a great showing and with parker and ethan both coming after the 3k record and you have Gary Martin and Yassine. And obviously Yassine is, uh, I think he was born in America, but obviously represent, represented South Sudan yeah. at uh, the Olympics, but still uh, American, I would, I would say. Um, yeah. So you still have some powerhouse in the American talent. Yeah. And I, I, I don't disagree with you. I do obviously you know, like to see the uh, American uh, runners doing well when it comes to the NCAAs. It's obviously... It's motivational and inspirational for Americans because we all know the powerhouse of Kenya and Uganda. Kenya. It's like Ethiopia. <laughs> like we all know how good they are when it comes to uh, yeah. distance running. So it's nice to see that you know the Americans can do it too. Shout out Grant Fisher. Shout out Yard Nagoose, and shout out especially Cole Hawker. I mean, yeah. 
it, it's great representation for uh for the sport that we both love and obviously you got the american flag right there i mean what what more what more you get, what more can USA, you say and the USA, usa the usa olympic flag or the olympic ring is behind you <laughs> i'm gonna be on that team one day i believe it in what underwater basket weaving yep i knew it something in the paralympics probably goal ball i think i'd be really good at goal ball you know what i think i think you should go blind and i'll be your marathon guide that could be gas that could go hard i don't know how good they are but like i don't know if, either but think about it like maybe i should go blind you got a better career ahead of you maybe i'll go blind no. so that i can start now and you can continue training and then we'll be we'll meet in the middle when you're done with college <laughs> uh i wish uh i don't i don't know if my body could handle marathon training i know but, it uh, can. i believe it it can't <laughs> it, it can't it I've can already decided this, it can't. Bro. It can't take this. <laughs> but um, how how is your recovery going? You seen my Strava this morning? I did not. <laughs> I haven't been on Strava yet today. I still need to upload my elliptical. Well, well, well. Guess who ran this morning? No way. And it was not easy, to be honest with you. <laughs> Uh, I did run this morning. I did two miles, very easy, eight minute pace, easy, uh, on the treadmill because it was seven degrees this morning. Felt like oh. negative seven. That's perfect um, weather. Yeah, perfect running conditions. So. Sheesh, dude. Are you mm-hmm. looking at it right now? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. How <laughs> was so it? Funny. Okay, so I can barely move my left arm. Like I literally don't move it at all, and it just like naturally goes back and forth. Yeah. with my legs so cool. i wasn't moving it and i was just kind of just letting it go just a little bit and trying not to rotate it because if you if i do too much then it starts to hurt but i can feel the impact on my collarbone to where like it's just uncomfortable like it doesn't it's not exactly painful but it's definitely not comfortable to put it lightly is and, this something uh, you should be doing no probably not listen I don't think it's a problem if I'm not feeling pain. I'm going to put it that way. Are you I still on that, pain meds? No, I haven't taken those in like a week now. Maybe even okay. longer, to be honest with you. Um, I, uh, I don't know. I feel like if it's... Th- I think the biggest fear is that I do something to impair the, the recovery or like the healing process to where it heals incorrectly. And I don't think that doing two miles is going to affect how it heals. I think if I were to fall off the treadmill and put my arm, that might affect it. Maybe. But I don't, I, I, maybe if I went and did like 17 miles, if I ran for like two hours, there's a good chance that like that much impact over that long of time could negatively affect how it heals. But at mm-hmm. this point, I don't think doing even like 20 to 30 minutes would affect it at all, to be honest with you. So I think it's fine. Uh, as long as I'm not feeling pain, I think that's a good sign. I, it's just a little uncomfortable. You know, it obviously is feeling the impact. I'm not, I can't really move my arm too much. Um, but besides that, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a work of progress, to say the least. I might only be able to do like two to three miles for the next like two weeks. At least I can run. Like that's no, it's better than nothing. I and especially with some of these weather days that we have. Like I'm, I was not going outside to bike today, obviously. So I think that's a I think that's a big thing. So yeah, I I also uh, I have you been? Are you caught up with the daily vlogs you watched yesterday's? Not yesterday's. No. Ah, oh, thumbs down. Um, I, I mentioned yesterday that. Uh, the Chicago Marathon applications were going to go out today, whether or not you got in or not. And I said, well, I can't run it currently, and if I don't get accepted, I'm going to be mad depressed. And guess who didn't get accepted? This guy. <laughs> so I was telling Johnny right before we started filming that I, I felt so bad because I didn't even get to like the anticipation of opening the email because the notification said, this is the Chicago Marathon regarding your uh, application we regret and then it cut off right after the word regret and i'm just like okay well i obviously didn't make it in if it says we regret so yeah, yeah. i did not uh get into the marathon unfortunately but Try your uh, money back 
<laughs> well, I, they never took it in the first place, but yeah, oh, okay. I, didn't, I didn't lose $200, um, which is, I guess, great. Um, well, 250 what? maybe even more, to be fair, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a tough one out here for us, but... That's a big doom. How are you doing, Johnny? Talk to me, man. How how's the shot feeling? How's the legs? Are you uh are you still running? What's going on with you, man? Can you can you make us feel a little bit better about the tragedies that have happened to the Blob Boys uh, this fall? Mm, I can try. So I guess I've been running for seven weeks now. Um felt fine. You know, some like aches and pains here and there, but it's kind of like stuff that like I know will go away after a few days. Mm -hmm. Um Hit a few hill workouts, get my long run together. Um, I did one far leg and then the turkey trot, uh, which went pretty well, dude. I mean, very well. I'll take it. I, 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 I take it very well. And I didn't, you know, I didn't kill myself over it, so it's <laughs> it's fine. Um, and then I guess this week, I guess maybe on Tuesday or something, like my left inside like shin just kind of hurts, and I've had like a oh. stress reaction and like. Excuse me, my right shin before, and right. that knocked me out for like a month. And so, like, I know what it feels like. And I feel like this is kind of like early onset. So, like yesterday, whenever I ran, I made sure to run in the fields, which helped it a little bit. But it's like whenever I got on the concrete, it's like, uh, it's like, you know, it's just there's just stress on it. Yeah. And my body is so it's so whack, dude. Like, I'm not even allowed to do we squats in the in the weight room. Like, my legs are definitely not proportional like whether that's height or like strength i know it's for sure strength they're both like one's i don't know if it's the right stronger than the other or what but i just know that it's misproportionate i don't know if it's in my stride that's like causing more weight to go on my left or if it's because my hip so i don't know what it is um but i definitely feel it so i i cross train today i'm supposed to do like a in and out long run tomorrow um but i i don't know i don't know if it's gonna I don't know if I'm going to try to cross train tomorrow and then push along run to Saturday, see how that feels then. Or I don't know. Coach is talking about down week next week. So Huge. I don't know. Needed. I don't know. I, I think, I think one way or another, I think I'm going to just have to going forward. I think I'm just going to have to like incorporate cross training one way or another. Like, I, I agree. I, I don't think I can not, saying like i can but i don't think my body can do like running six days a week you know what i mean i i think that you just have not been i don't think that you with your career have been built up to be able to with with withstand i guess you could say that amount of mileage i think that building up mileage like that takes a lot of time and you've had setback after setback with injury and illness and all this random things that it's hard to ask your body to do that amount of volume, especially, you know, now you literally just got a shot. So, like, how is that supposed to help you, you know, like, when you're trying to add a ton of volume? So, I, I honestly, I think that, like, in the position you're in, first of all, being able to run without needing surgery is huge. Like, let's not act like it's, that's no little thing. Like, just being only having one shot so far is, like, you know, fingers crossed it stays like that. Yeah, <laughs> But I think that adding cross training in is like a great fix for what you're asking your body to do w with what it's been through. If that makes sense, you know, I think yeah. it's uh, it's been a, it's been a, a long uh, road for you, and none of it's been easy. A lot of diversity and uh, diversity adversity. Uh, that's not funny. a lot of diversity. <laughs> not, a lot of, not a lot of. I, I thought of that, right when I said that, I was like, that didn't sound right. I was like, um, did he say diversity or adversity? I meant to say adversity, but I said it and I was just like, I, that's the wrong word. But uh, uh, yeah, I think cross training can be a, a game changer, honestly, because it can allow you to continue training uh, at a high level without putting the impact on your body that it's obviously not reacting uh, positively to. So yeah. I don't know, man. I think I think that could be a really big thing for you for sure. I don't know. I I just I hope that it's like early enough to where it's like hopefully I'm not too late to recognize and like I can recognize like I said I can recognize like the aches and pains that go away in a little bit, but it's like I know when something's wrong, you know. And yeah, even the first time I had this, I try to run through it and I'm 
you just can't you just can't same thing with the hip it's just like you just can't so i don't know man hoping and praying that it kind of goes away tomorrow gonna keep icing and stretching and stuff and hopefully i can get through that long run tomorrow um but you know if it hurts i'll probably just stop hit the elliptical and hope that it gets better soon because this might be one of those things where it's like i gotta take a week and step back a little bit you know and then yeah i mean i don't think that's a bad i don't think that's necessarily a bad thing i mean you obviously had a rough all i think that if if anything having problems right now right before christmas is like the best time to have them especially in the position you're in you would hate to be like midway through track season and then be like oh i might have to take a month off and we have like conference in a month from now you know so it's like at least at least if it's happening right now and it's fixable right now that still gives you enough time to get to conference like outdoor conference of course so yeah i mean at least uh you know you can cross train inside it's going to be a cold winter you don't yeah. have to worry about it too much you're going to go home anyways be around family i mean you can only do so much so yeah i mean it's just it's unfortunate dude like i don't i don't want to be known for this I mean, yeah, bro, but at least you didn't get tripped and break your collarbone. <laughs> uh, yeah, it could be work. Could be out for like two months, but uh, I mean, shoot, I've only been back for like seven weeks, dude. I, I would just like to get a little further until I start yeah. getting problems. Like, I'm just, I'm right on the cusp of starting to build back up and do workouts, and I'm at that point where it's like, I'm in like decent enough shape to where it, like, you know, those like beginning workouts. Excuse me. Whenever you're like starting to build back up, and it's like, oh god, I, I just want to kill myself. Like I, this is so hard. Like it's, yeah. I I think I was in the point to where it's like, okay, I could do workouts and not feel like killing myself every yeah. single time. You're finally starting to feel like, all right, I can actually finish this without literally passing out afterwards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I I don't I know. That. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm just overreacting. It's it's nothing. But um, yeah. I mean, hopefully it goes away next week. I can say, yep, yeah, this little thing is gone now. Ain't nothing to worry about, but um, we shall see. We shall yeah. see. No, I think uh, I think that's a good plan of attack at the very least, and uh, obviously hoping nothing but the best for that. Um, yeah, seriously, I know. Uh, I know. I, I'm sure you'd like to at least try to race once or twice for the indoor season, like later down the line, if possible. Yeah, because it goes till what right into early March or something like that. Yeah, it's like end yeah, of, end say- of February, early March. I would say end of February, I think. Um, but, like, I'd be in shape. Our first meet's, like, the 25th, so it's, like, I'd be in shape, you know what I mean, by then. Yeah, if you're able to continue running, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. Hopefully. But the, I don't even want one to talk One step at a time. It, one step at a time. We'll take it one day at a time. We'll worry about yeah. it in a month from now when we're into January and it's coming up. But, uh, you know. No, I think that's a good plan, and obviously, you know, the holidays are coming in. There's going to be a lot going on, so no, yeah, that's right. Lots on my mind, yeah, a lot on your mind. That's true. I got a lot on my mind. I got a lot on my face. What do you think of the? What do you think of the beard, man? I like it. I like it's it. It's a little. It's a I little. It's... What? It's a little all over the place right now. I'm a little un uh, unkept, I suppose you could say. I feel like it's just it really bad though. I don't know. I think the mustache is really rough. It's like half in my freaking mouth every time I try to eat yeah, something. You might, you might want to like trim it on the mouth. But I mean, other than that, dude, it looks good. I just, dude, I'm scared to shave it because I know the moment I shave it, it's going to get to like below zero and I'm going to like go outside for like a, a bike or a, a run and I'm just going to like, face is going to be uh, frigid. Dude, this protects my face from the cold, man. I need it. But I feel uh, like it's so bad. It's just so awful to look at. I mean, if anything, just trim it up a little bit. I don't think it needs to go all the way. Well, I wasn't doing anything to it at all for November because obviously you did no shave in November. And then, yeah, obviously. Obviously, like the last like one or two days of November, I broke my freaking right arm. So I couldn't do it. I couldn't shave because I couldn't use my right arm. And then I finally got used with my hand back. And then I was just like, oh, well. It's been this long now. I guess I'll just let it roll. But yeah, let it ride, yeah. dude. Let it ride. I'm going to maybe maybe into January. Maybe when I can start running again, I'll shave it as like a. Oh, I can run again. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> celebratory yeah, shave. Ce- celebratory shave. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Dude, that's funny. Well, that's what the main things I wanted to recap this week. I know. Uh, 
it's just been long days for the both of us. Um, I, I've been just editing a lot, obviously doing the daily vlogs. I still have to finish today's, to be honest with you, but that'll Good get Lord. put out at some point. I'm not too worried about it. So, <laughs> yeah, you got anything else you want to talk about for this episode? I, I got nothing, big dog. Well, I guess we'll uh, next week we can come back and talk about how we are feeling with running because we'll have at least figured out what's going on with the both of us by then, uh, which will be pretty exciting, and we can uh, we can discuss what we should we should try to uh, hot predict the five k, ten k, or not five k, ten k, three k, five k, and mile uh, NCAA winners for the. Uh, indoor season next so some week. far out predictions far out predictions right, i think we can do that fun. we can do that um, i'm gonna start doing my research after this and look at last year's <laughs> winners versus who's actually still running right now <laughs> i don't even remember bro no parvej khan that's for sure <laughs> Ooh. i don't know who's winning the mile but i know it ain't parvej <laughs> definitely not parvej khan definitely not parvej khan all RP. right well I think that was a great little episode. It might be a little bit of a shorter one, but obviously, uh, you know, not Short too much to recap. Uh, obviously, the boys are hurting a little bit right now, so we're just trying to get through the days. And uh, as we continue to start running again, episodes will get better, of course. So, yeah. All right. Well, I, we hope you guys enjoy this episode of the Blonde Boys Run BBR, otherwise known as, of course. And uh, we'll see you guys next week for another episode. Take care. Bye. Peace out.